Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to install custom missions onto your Arma 3 server. First, from the Arma 3 Steam page, choose Workshop. Next, on the right hand side, choose Scenario. On the right hand side, we're also going to check the server checkbox to make sure that these scenarios work on a server. Once inside the mission we would like to add to our server, we can just hit the green subscribe button. From here, we need to keep track of two different things. You can either write it down or copy it onto your clipboard. You need to keep track of what map this is running, so we're going to be on Altus. And you also need to keep track of the Steam ID number of this Steam Workshop item. You can see in the URL above where it says ID equals, ours is 394-169-636. And if you don't see this URL on your screen, you can just choose view in the top left hand corner and choose settings, then go to interface and where it says display web address bars when available, we're gonna make sure that is checked and click okay. We're gonna then go back to the library and start Arma 3 to install a normal day onto our local files. Once we have run Arma 3 at least once, we're gonna go into our Steam folder we are then going to choose the Steam Apps folder, then Workshop, then Content, then the folder 107410. That is the file folder for Arma 3. Inside this folder will be all of the mods and scenarios and maps that you have downloaded through the Steam Workshop. Here is where we will use that Steam ID number to know which folder to go inside. For ours, it is the 394-169-636 folder. Inside this folder, you will see a long list of numbers with a legacy.bin file. We are going to actually rename this file for our server. So we're going to right click and choose rename. And we are going to name it the mission name. So a normal day. And then you will put a period. And then you will put the map that it will be running on. So we are going to be running on the Altus map. And then we'll put a period and then it's not going to be .bin, it's going to be .pbo. Once we have that completely renamed, we're going to open up our Bisect Hosting Games panel and choose our Arma 3 server. We are then going to choose the red stop button to stop our server. Next, we're going to go to the File Manager tab. And we want to go inside the MP missions folder. From here, we are going to drag our .pbo file that we just renamed into the MP missions folder. Once that's finished uploading, we are going to go back to the root directory and we're going to scroll down until we see server.cfg. We will then scroll down until we see missions cycle and we will see a couple missions by default if you haven't changed these missions already. Here we can do two different things. We can either replace one of these missions that are already here, or we can easily just add this mission into the rotation by selecting all the way from the bracket to the end bracket with the colon, and then putting it after the very last mission, and then just renaming class mission to whatever's next in line. So class mission one, class mission two, and then class mission three. Regardless of which one you choose, where it says template equals, and then it has a name of the map, we are going to select all of that before the semicolon, and we are going to change that to the name of our PBO file without the .pbo. So for us, it will be a space normal space day dot altus. And then the semicolon will be at the end. Again, you can either replace this in class mission one, or you can add this as an additional mission and just make sure you choose the class mission number to the next number in the sequence. Once that's finished, choose the blue save content button, go back to the console and start your server with the new mission installed. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.